Hello guys, welcome to Dr. Science. My name is Nikhil. So first of all, I would like to apologize that I was not able to make videos for the past six months because I was having a lot of exams uh, and not only that I was having a lot of stress, work stress. So I thought of taking a big break from social media, but now I have one month of free time. So I thought of making videos on immunology. So particularly I chose this topic because nowadays we are going to see a lot of autoimmune diseases. And I thought not only that many of the second year people, second year student, me medical students, they requested that Sir, can you make uh, videos on the immune system because it is very difficult to understand from the YouTube videos. Many of them are, many of the YouTube videos, they are incomplete. So I thought, why don't I read the compute, I, I mean, I, re I will read the entire immune system from the book. And then I will be explaining each and everything from the basics because without basics you cannot understand medicine right so i thought of making videos on immunology so in this immunology lecture i am going to complete the what is meant by innate immunity what is adaptive immunity what are t lymphocyte b lymphocyte dendritic cell macrophages and nk cells what are the primary and secondary lymphoid organs? What is meant by major histocompatibility or HLA association? What are the different types of cytokines or interleukins? And not only that, we are going to talk about type 1 hypersensitivity reaction, type 2, type 3 and type 4 or the cell mediated immunity. And after that, we are going to jump in the autoimmune diseases. In this we are going to talk about SLE which is very important and not only that we will talk about RA and Jogren syndrome uh, together with scleroderma and I hope by the end of the month I will I am I will be able to complete the graft rejections which are hyper acute acute and the chronic after after that we will dive into the immunodeficiency syndromes which are very important like severe combined immunodeficiency, excellent agama globulinemia, digoff syndrome, hyper IgM, common variable immunodeficiency, and isolated IgA deficiency, etc. etc. Okay. I hope this will be very helpful for the second year students. And not only that, to the immunology students who are studying who have taken the immunology course and th this entire course is completely free okay i know many of the many of the lecturers in your university they don't have enough time to teach all of these things i am i was a student myself and no one explained me anything I have to do a lot of hard work to understand these topics so I thought of making I, I wanted to make videos so everyone can understand and score good in the your in universities so that was it please wait for the videos thank you